Hi guys, I'm giving you The Sims 4. I've been playing this series for a very long time and I'm a virtual kind of player when it comes to games like this and so I love The Sims series. So today we will be looking into dun, 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 a household that I made um, from basically rash to riches, rags to riches but I haven't named it like that because it's already too many of those and I'm trying to be different so let's go okay guys before I even get started right into this comment if you guys want me to make a series on this because I've kind of already started been playing with this but if you would like me to finish and like make a series about it then I would love to do that because it could give me something else to make for you guys so and also comment like what other videos y'all would like to see me do because I be running out of stuff sometimes and I just be making stuff up just to make stuff up but yeah just do that do that so this is basically where it all began with this one person oh. right here named Krista Benton I I made a series because like I don't know if y'all know this show called Gem it's this animated old school show that I used to play and um I got the name Benton, Benton from that. So I was trying to make a gym character, but I couldn't do it because like she wears pink and she has this, like this rock star hair that's pink yeah. and I just couldn't be able to do it. So I was like, you know what? I'll just make someone different, but with the last name of that. Okay, so let's just dive on right into it. These are her casual outfits. I try to make her unique and different as I can so she can pop out. Look at that makeup. I did that. So next we have her former outfits. Then her sportswear and now her pajamas. And now we're on to her party outfits for when she goes out. Next is her bathing suit and now her summer outfits. Next, this is her winter outfits for the cold. This is Dirk. He is also famous and he is also Krista's husband, plus baby daddy. I just ran through all of his outfits because it's self-explanatory. I try to make him pop. Here is Trevor, their son. He's creative and I try to make him post as much as I can on YouTube, but he's having a hard time because he's in school trying to balance it out. Here is Mariah, their daughter. I can't really say much about her because she just turned into a child from being a toddler. So just look at her outfits, I guess. They're kind of cute. Okay, so here is the mansion. As you can tell, it's really big. Um, this build took a long time for me to actually do. And... Actually, the roofing is bad. The middle part is there. Don't worry about that empty space right there. I just didn't layer it up. But anyway, let's just get right into it. Here is the beginning where you walk into the front door. You got sprinklers on the side. And now you just come in and you can go up the stairs or left and right. So now we're going right. And as you can see, there's Dirk. We're in the living room. There's some computer, Christmas tree, you have all the nice furniture along with the cash on the table, the PlayStation, of course, no Xbox over here. Okay, so now we're into the hallway and now going into the kitchen. Krista's in the kitchen cooking it up. And then we also have a maid right beside her. You can see all the paintings and stuff. I try to make this room artistic but full of food decorations. And now we're going into the dining room. Next, we have Mariah's bedroom. You can tell I'm having a hard time with like the camera angles. 
this is the outside deck I guess here is um the grilling area where you can make cookout foods and now you're going to the pathway onto the pool this outdoor area is really pretty at night and I'm so proud of myself because it even looks prettier in the day as well so here is another outdoor area and now we're going on to where they have meditations or where they can watch movies have a movie night outside and then over here is the garden area where you plant your trees and then this is the garden house or the greenhouse either one and now we're going into the garage I threw a lot of stuff in here and trying to make it as realistic as possible over here we have the cars nothing special and then here's the hallway and now we're back at the main entrance so let's just go back to this hallway and let's go into the laundry room. This is where our butler does all of our laundry. And yes, we have a butler. I try to have as many services as I can since this is a big house. But next we have a bathroom. I forgot that somebody was taking a bath, so didn't really know. Next we have a room. Mariah is in it. And there was a bed in the middle, I swear there was. And next we have another room. I try to make all the rooms have a color scheme to it. Okay, and now we're going upstairs and this is the upstairs kids bathroom. We'll get to that room later. And then here is Trevor's bedroom. And then next we have the butler's bedroom. <laughs> he looks really happy in there. And here is the toddler's room. Half boy, half girl. Okay, and this area is just a sitting area. I didn't really know what to do with this part, so I was like, let me just make something up. And then this room is the toddler's room, where they have plenty of playtime, where they can just chill, watch movies and stuff. And this is also a kid's room as well. And then next we have a painter's room, where they can be as artistic as they want to be. They also have a computer to upload whatever they want, find inspiration. Okay, so let's go all the way back to this room. It was kind of glitchy right here. Right here is like a little bar area. And then over in here is a room where you can play cards or play virtual games. And then out here is like an outdoor deck. And then in here is an indoor spa. Okay, and now we got another bathroom. I think that this is my favorite bathroom out of all of them. I don't know, I just really like what I did with this one. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> Next, we have a photography room. I really like this room a lot because it's trendy. Um, it's really high fashion where you can make a lot of good quality pictures. And 
Next room is the master's bedroom. I'm kind of disappointed because I didn't have enough space to make a big room. So this is all I could really get out of it, you know? <laughs> Next, here is the newborn's room. And here's a seating area for them if they want to see the baby or anything. And then next, we have a gym room. Over here is a shower. I didn't want to make them go all the way to the bathrooms to take a shower and then next we have like a computer room I didn't want to call it an office and then out here is like an outdoor deck or a balcony whatever you want to call it okay and now we're at the main entrance again Around here is full of mirrors. And right here is a trophy area. And then we also have a downstairs. Okay, so now we're downstairs and there's a camera. We have cameras everywhere around the house just in case somebody wanna rob us, you know, we're famous. Now here's a bathroom. Now we're going into the movie theater. Now we're going into the basketball court. And last, we have a bowling alley slash hangout room. Make sure y'all hand sanitize y'all's hands. Okay, so that was about it of the house. Uh, there's paparazzi always hanging out in front of us. But, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed. I'm about to show y'all what it looks like at night because I think it looks really beautiful. So here's an inside look. I couldn't change it to camera's view because I had to change it to nighttime. So, and I didn't want to play yet. But this is what it looks like when it's dark. Look at all these lanterns. This is about it of this mansion tour. Let me know if you guys would like a series on this once again. And make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Mm -hmm.